Hey guys, it's Jenny here. So today I have my December wrap up for you. I decided to film it today instead of trying to do a readathon because I've just been so busy in December and it's ridiculous. And instead of reading, I ended up spending four hours cleaning my entire room top to bottom. So I cleaned off my shelves, I dusted them, I organized them. I My room is just so clean now and I'm so happy. Like. It's going to be so much easier to manage now, and I just love looking at it this clean. It's so nice. But yeah, um, I only read four books in December, but like my reading flow is going pretty good. I think the reason I only read four was because December is just my busiest month besides August. So, yeah. <clears throat> um, I told myself I wasn't going to film a January TBR. Um, I still might not, but there's a good possibility that I might, because, um, I've gotten some books that I want to add to my TBR instead of the ones that I had originally picked out. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what books I read in December, and you guys are probably gonna be like, oh my god, are you serious when I show you the books I read? Anyways, the first book I read this month was A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. Yes, I did read this book in August. This was my only August read, as a matter of fact, but I missed the series so much and I was in a book slump because of Legend by Marie Lou, so I'm like, I'm just gonna reread this series, like, no shame. <laughs> so I did, and I just, I loved it even more in, like, the second time around. The one thing I did notice when I reread it, though, like, having read the whole series once over, like, when I was reading it the second time... I just started to realize more why Tamlin wasn't the right match for Feyre. Like, it just, it just really registered and I understood it a lot more reading it another time around. And yeah, I, this was really good. Obviously this is not my favorite one though, of the three. So the next book that I read this month was A Court of Mr. Fury by Sarah J. Mass. Yes, I read this back in October. Um, no, September. I loved it so much more. I just did. I loved it so much more the second time around. Um, and it just really, it just really made me know why I picked this book as my favorite of the three. It was just so amazing. Like, it's building the, the bond and the relationship between Feyre and Reese and... There's just so many things I love about this book. I love it so much. Obviously, all of the Akotar books for me get a 5 out of 5 stars easily. Actually, all of the books I read this month get a 5 out of 5 stars. They were all just so good. But yeah, I love this one. This is my favorite of the three. Then the third book I read in December is A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J. Mass. Yes, I did read this book in October. I just had to reread the whole series. I had to. Um, this was great. I loved it so much. I mean, yes, this is my this is my second favorite. I was gonna say it's my favorite, but no, Court of Mist and Fury is definitely my favorite. But I love this one just as much the second time around. I managed not to cry at the end this time, which I was really proud of. But I'm just so excited for a Quarter Frost and Starlight, guys. I'm like biting, chomping at the bit. Oh, by the way, if you guys don't know, Court of Thorns and Roses is about a huntress named Feyre who is trying to feed her starving family by hunting in the woods. Then she encounters a wolf, she kills it, then that night, or the next, the following night, a beast busts down her door and demands that she pay for her crimes by being whisked off to the lands of Prithian, which is the Fey realm, to live out her life sentence for killing a Fey. When she gets to Prithian, she discovers that the Beast is actually the High Lord of the Spring Court named Tamlin. And um, her hostility towards him turns into a sort of passion and understanding. And they develop a romance. Um, and then she also discovers that there is a darkness plaguing Tamlin and his court. And possibly, and it's also going to be a threat to the human world human realm possibly so she does everything in her might to try to stop it and actually i was super surprised because i'm i know like every single detail that happened in this book 
and it kind of blows my mind that all of that fits in this small book like it's like holy freaking crap a lot happens in this book and you just, it just never registers until you read it again then the last book i read in december was caraval by stephanie gerber this was another five out of five star book i just i've had this book in my tbr for a whole year and it, getting through it finally just seems so surreal ah oh, i'm so glad i finally read it it centers on two sisters named scarlett and donatella dragna and they are the daughters of the abusive governor of governor of the conquered isles conquered isles of trista it has been their dream to go to Carval, which is a magical um, experience where you go off on a private island and you play this game that is filled with illusions, magic, mayhem, and mystery. Um, they always warn you that you have to make sure that you're always aware that it's just a game because if you get too swept away, you can get you can go insane. And it has been these sisters' life dream to go to Carval and get away from their father. And so they've been writing to the um, master of Carval, Legend, for years. And one year, he finally answers back and gives them tickets to visit Carval. Only Scarla is finally engaged and married, and she's a bit apprehensive about going. But she and her sister and a sailor end up dragging her to Carval anyway because they don't want to miss this experience. And, oh my gosh, then Donatella goes missing. And Scarlett and Julian, who is the sailor, have to team up to try to find her before the end of Carval, before it's too late or somebody else finds her. And I just, oh my god, I love this book so much. I was hating it for a little bit, but it just got so good at the end. I loved it so much, and I cannot wait for Legendary, which comes out May 29th. And I'm just so excited. Two of my most anticipated sequels come out in my birth month. Actually my most anticipated um release of 2018 comes out on my birthday and it's the color of my birthstone quarter frost and starlight comes out on may 1st which is my birthday and the book is emerald green which is my birthstone so it's like happy birthday to me <laughs> but yes legendary comes out in may and i'm just so excited there are at least four books that i can think of right right off the top of my head that i cannot wait to get my hands on the one, I'll go in order of first released. Zenith by Sasha Ellsberg and Lindsay Cummings comes out January 18th. Restore Me by Tahira Mafi, which is book four in the Shatter Me series, comes out March... Um, I want to say like March 8th or something like that. It's it's really, I think it's earlier in March. Then Court of Frost and Starlight comes out on May 1st, and I'm so excited for that. That is book four in the Court of Thorns and Roses series. It might just be a, no it's a novella, but I don't know if it's going to be a spinoff. I hope it's not because I love this story. Then the fourth book that I'm really anticipating is Legendary by Stephanie Garber that comes out on May 29th. So yes, these were the books that I read in December. I'm probably going to be filming a um, January TBR as well as a recommendations video for you guys because they've been requested. Um, so yeah, I'm also planning around the time of my one year anniversary on booktube to do a massive haul. Like I'm going to be ordering from book outlet and thrift books and I'm going to try to restrain myself and wait to like open the packages both at the same time. It's going to take a lot of restraint. I'm probably going to have to like freaking, I have a padlock now, so I'm going to have to like put them in a box and just lock it. But okay, yeah, I'm, those are my plans. Um, after this video, I'm going to do a recommendations video, my January TBR, and, um, on New Year's Eve, I have my reading log to, um, to dump out and, you know, read them off to you guys and determine how many books I read in 2017 along with the page count. So yeah, those are the next couple things you guys have to look forward to. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and always comment down below because I love to hear from you guys. Thanks for watching.